I'm going to break the law. I'm going to kill two wolves in one day and see what happens. Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of me, Mojo, in Eco in Gangzi. And today we have a factory. Here it is. Yes, it's finally done. That took hours to finish. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Ooh, it's really quite big. Maybe too big. Oh, gosh. Let's put it down and see if we can. Is there anywhere this can go? No? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, that cannot stay there. <laughs> or else I can't go out and no one can go in. But, uh, yeah, this, uh... Jeez, it looks like a friggin' locomotive. Look at it. So what does it do? It requires the following to function. Too many craft tables in this room. Only two allowed, but five present. Okay, crafting. Electric wall lamp. Laser! Oh my god. And street lamp. Fancy. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we have to power it too. Okay, okay. I wonder, uh, I wonder how we power it. Maybe we can use a windmill. I don't know. We're going to find out, though, but as you can see, this space is probably not going to work. I think I have already outgrown Jenny B's generosity. <laughs> so I'm going to have to see what I can do to spruce my place up a little bit. Because I, I feel like this guy kind of requires a chimney, so we can't put it in the basement like I was hoping. And we probably need some bricks, too, if I had to guess. So I'm going to have to uh, hammer this up so I can claw my way out of here. And uh, we have to figure some stuff and some things out. Okay, yeah, it says down here this building requires one chimney. And then... Is that it? Oh, containing room must be built with at least 32 blocks of brick. Okay, well, who makes brick? Cube, doll, I think fox. So I should be able to talk someone out of some bricks. I wonder if I invested a little bit of points in making it myself. I'll have to check. But before we go any further with anything else, big shout out to Pam at Kill Servers. Man, we are so rough on this game. Like, we are crashing the server all the time. I'm always bugging her to reset the server, please. And she's so patient with me. Shout out to Pam. You're the best. So I wanted to check Cube's place out, see if he has any bricks in his store. He does not. He accepts bricks as payment, though. Wenda, what is this? This is big. Wow. Cube can make friggin' gold friggin' flakes. Oh, my God. Cube and I need to get close friends. I don't know what those are for, but I want them. It just sounds so fancy, right? Wow. Okay, Hunt for Bricks continues. All right, so if I look at my stuff, let me see here. Masonry, stone working. I would need stone working three in order to make brick. But I only have stone working two. It would only be 25 points, but I wouldn't have any efficiencies in it, so... It could be wasteful or even worse, kind of pollution-y. So let's see if Doll has any yet. Still almost completely sold out of everything. Um, does Fox have a store set up yet? Let me go look. Wells Knight's store is uh, right here. Uh, what you got? What you got? Sold out of ores. Not worried about that. Now, this store was full last time I was here, and brick is five each. Okay, that's good. Um, campfire stew, fancy. Okay, so I guess I could give him some logs, and if the store's not full, I might be able to buy his bricks, but I don't know if he's logged in and checked his store. I'll have to uh, get some wood and see. I've been squirreling away some logs in this uh, community campfire, so... Let's turn right back around and get back to the store and get us some bricks. All right, so store. We have 10 of these bad boys in my hand, so I can have two bricks. All right, it's a start. All right, I'll take it. I have two bricks. Uh, I think it would be best if I put... Oh, wow, I must have put a lot of wood in here. I must have had plans. Okay, put those there. And then, I, 
I could sell a lot of these. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it's not going to fill the store up too much. It probably will. Let's, let's sell maybe 20 and then try to uh, get four. Yeah. So uh, I tried to buy four more and that threw me out of the game, which is what happens when the store's full. I wonder if I can just buy like one more brick. Maybe it's not that full. Okay, I was able to get one. This is kind of like gambling now. I'm not going to be able to get all the bricks I need, but I think I have like two stored away at my place somewhere. And then I've got at least seven here. Maybe somehow I can come up with these little by little. Try to buy one more. That worked. Okay, I tried to buy one more and the server crashed, which, which means I've, I've bought all I can buy, which is eight. Um... While we're in the neighborhood, I say we go over to Fox's house and I think he's somewhere back here if I recall correctly and see if he has a store yet. And if he does, we could be in business because I know he's good for the bricks. Fox, alright. It doesn't look like he's put in a store. Oh, I fell down there once. That was bad. Yeah, for some reason, you can go down but not up. Fox is crazy like that. He's crazy like a fox. But yeah, no store. Um, you know who might have one is Sir Kaz, and he's right here anyway, so let's check. The great hunt for bricks continues. Okay, great. He's got two stores. This man is in the biz. Store. Nothing yet. Okay. And then long shot, but uh, nothing. Alright. Hmm. Well, I guess I will go to the community center and get, I think, the two bricks I left in there that were extra from when Biffa was helping me with that casting research. And then we should be up to about ten if those are still there. They're not. Um, eight bricks. Is there like a, a cloning bench I could make? A way to transmute things into bricks, perhaps? I don't know. I say we just get started on the area where we want it to go and kind of feel out how we want it to lay out and then we'll worry about the bricks when we can, when someone is around who can make them. The good news is um, I've been tipped off that Vortec has extra chimneys. He has like five of them and supposedly they are upstairs in his house somewhere. Apparently what happened was he needed a chimney for our blast furnace. And so he bought like five or six. He was just going to stack them on top of each other. But uh turns out you don't need a five-layered chimney. You just need one. So <laughs> I wish I could split the stack. I guess I'll have to bring them back when I'm done. Um, so yeah, at least we have a brick chimney because we'll need that. My inclination is to just try to make this space work because it's largely vacant and I can try to remake it however I want. And it's, aesthetically, it's the way I like it. I don't want to just shove a bunch of brick and corrugated steel in here. But I feel like where there's a will, there's a way. I could make this work and make it at least moderately attractive. Uh, if not, at least I tried. But one thing is, um, is this space even big enough? I know that this has... I didn't mean to do that. Some volume requirements. <laughs> Let's try that again. So yeah, if I wanted to put this down in here. Um, missing chimney. Okay, okay. Hopefully I don't have to get up on the roof to install that, do I? Let's just put it there just for laughs. Does that count as having a chimney now? Chimney at... Oh, it's not tall enough. So... It seems like the elevation of my chimney is insufficient. So where do you go from there? I'll have to I'll have to think for a sec. Okay, so I'm trying a little cheaty cheat. I put this downstairs and then I put a chimney up here. And I'm hoping that alleviates the elevation problem. No. It is not close enough. So I guess the upstairs and the downstairs are not counting as the same room. That makes sense, but what if, <laughs> I don't know why I have these obsessions with what ifs, 
But I gotta know, what if I cut out the floor here? And then, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Missing chimney. Curses. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's get down to business. So I think maybe you stack bricks on top of the roof and then like the chimney top goes on top. I'm not really clear, but I have enough bricks to play around, I guess. I just got to find a way to get up on my roof. Oops. <laughs> yep, there's a hole in the floor. There's still a hole in the floor. Um, all right, let me think about this. Okay, so I'm on my roof. <laughs> I made a little uh, lumber ladder there. And uh, where do I want this chimney approximately? I guess here is good as a place as any. So I think I want it like four tall. Is that four or three? <laughs> and then this goes on top. Is What do you mean it's blocked? I just don't understand chimneys, I guess. Man, that is tall. I don't think I'm doing it right. How on earth? Whose chimney can I go study? Because this is not working out for me. There's your problem. Okay, so if you look here, you'll see that this is the part that I think wants to try to turn into a chimney. But... That part's supposed to be, I think, one lower, like, inside the roof. Look at that. It's like a big upside-down middle finger just taunting me. Will it chimney? One can hope. So, bam. That should be a chimney. It may or may not be in reality, but... And it, it looks like it is not in reality. Does it need, like, another brick? I just don't... Oh. I don't understand. I say we just try to slap that brick on there. Maybe that's a chimney now. What does this thing say now? Okay. So I'm not seeing any red X's or anything, so I think it's prepared to work. But there are definitely not 32 bricks in here. But I think it's satisfied with the chimney now, so that's good. Interesting. Okay, so I got the roof reinstalled. Uh, I wonder if I put the floor back in, if the chimney thing would still say the same thing. Let's find out. Because I'm always kind of perplexed by room requirements. Like, I don't know what the limits are. I don't... I gotta, I gotta learn by doing. Okay, let's see what it says. Missing chimney. Okay, so it did not like that. Okay, meets room requirements. Uh, finally able to get it to say that. I wonder how much of this floor I'm allowed to close. Probably not much, but uh, let's try. So I have my floor closed up down here, and somehow it still meets room requirements. Uh, let's go up here and see... Yeah, so there's like a chimney window kind of problem going on, but I'm not going to fight it. You know, I will just work around it at another time. And uh, yeah, we got a working chimney. Oh my God, it took a lot. Chimneys are not intuitive, so if you're struggling with them, I hope watching me derp around helped a little bit at least. At least something came of my torment, right? Okay, I know it's not exactly an ideal place for it, but what if we put down this windmill and see if that will power the table let's see can I even get it up there gosh it's so finicky okay okay somewhere else somewhere else is that okay <laughs> it's not very high up I wonder if that matters let's go look I'm guessing this means it's not working so if I had to guess I would say what that means is that we will need um, a more modern power generation like a, a, a literal generator like an electric generator i doubt that's something i can make on my own so i will have to investigate further and ask around so i'm guessing what we would need is something like this electric generator which is going to require 17 pieces of steel it's always steel that's always the bottleneck the frustrating thing about that is i i don't know for sure this is what i need it seems like it would be what i need but I, how do you know? <laughs> That's the fun of playing an alpha game and also the frustration of playing an alpha game. Sometimes you have to be a bit of a pioneer. There's no one who really knows yet. 
Well, if nothing else, at least I got this window situation <laughs> fixed up. That's, that's a lot more acceptable now. So I guess before I take a break to wait for some steel to happen, what I could do is use up some points on mechanics assembly efficiency. And what that will help me do is as I attempt to craft things like generators, I won't need as much steel or as many pistons or even lumber. So I think I will put as much as I can into that. And that's all I could do, but we're up to level four. So uh, we have reduced costs very significantly. That's great. So don't quote me on this, uh, but I thought that we needed 17 steels in order to do the electric generator. And now we would only need 11. So that's a pretty good savings. The efficiency really pays off. So I don't have a lot to do while I wait. So I'm going to do something I've been itching to do for some time now. I'm going to take a bow and some arrows out into the wilderness. And I'm going to break the law. I'm going to kill two wolves in one day and see what happens. I just really want to know. I haven't seen anyone do it yet, so i got to find out. Okay, so I saw a wolf up here. He's fast, though. He ran off. Where did he go? Is that him? Oh, he's a wolf. Okay, it's really hard to kill him because they're just so quick. Can I get it? Oh, man, he's teleporting everywhere. This is almost impossible. It's hard to kill one wolf. How am I going to kill two? Oh, Lord. Are you seeing this? This is unreal. He's, he's on something, man. I think I... Oh, I thought I lost him. There he is. Oh, he's like tormenting me. Oh, I killed it. Yes. Okay, so, law, progress. One wolf killed max, one allowed, so let's go ahead and harvest the carcass, because that's nice. And uh, let's see if we can find another wolf and kill it. See a bunch of elk running around, which is what I saw last time I saw a wolf, which was forever ago now. So, uh, I'm going to prepare my bow and uh, sniff around here. Can't seem to get up there. Maybe he's down here. Definitely elk. There's not that many wolves on the server, so finding one is just quite a problem. But I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, I see one right in there terrorizing these elks. If I can just get a shot off, maybe we can kill it. And then we're gonna be criminals. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be we're gonna have to live in the wilderness. We're not gonna be welcome back into society. Gosh, he's so fast. Where did he go? I feel like this law is so unnecessary because this is almost an impossible challenge. How are you supposed to kill two of these? One was hard enough. Oh, now I, I've lost him. He's got to be around here somewhere. Terrorizing these elk, perhaps. <gasps> There's one. Where, where'd he go? Okay. Get him. Oh. Man, they teleport everywhere. Ugh. Come on. I need this. Okay, hold still. Hold still. <sighs> Crap. This is really tough, guys. Cube left the game. I think he's the last one online, so hopefully there will be no witnesses to this crime. And I will go unpunished. But honestly, I kind of would like to be punished. I don't, I don't know what the punishment is for this. That's kind of what I'm most curious about. <gasps> Law violation prevented. You may not kill more than one wolf. Wolf by law, save the wolves. Wow. So I think it let the wolf escape with its life, even though I shot him. <laughs> so if you're curious what happens when you break the law... I guess you're not allowed to break the law. <laughs> you have to be law-abiding, I suppose. So, that settles that. Interesting. Look at him. You can just shoot him as much as you want. The law just protects him. He's just standing there with such impunity. Now that he knows he's safe, he's not running around teleporting everywhere. Oh, wolves. Okay, I finally got enough steel, so I'm going to try to make this electric generator. 
and hopefully good things will happen. It only takes a minute, so sweet. It's ready, so I don't really know what to do with it, but let's take it back home and see if we can figure it out. I'm sure it would never be this simple, but let's just try to place it and see what happens. Okay, let's power. Okay, so we have to fuel this, and then... And then what? I don't know. <laughs> so I guess we could try putting something in it and see if that fuels it. And I think I might have some lumber lying around here somewhere. Could try to put that in. I don't know if it's going to take it. No. So I wonder if it wants, you know, like liquid fuel, like... You know, like petroleum or whatever uh, Jenny's making. So uh, Jenny's around and he pointed out to me that this bad boy can put out a thousand watts, which sounds pretty cool until you consider that in order for this thing to run, it demands two and a half thousand watts. So, hmm, what to do? Okay, so I tried putting some, um, I guess like gasoline or something in here. And uh, it seems to be working out. It, it took the fuel, which is good. It put it in the fuel slot from like the storage-y kind of slots. And uh, I think maybe, maybe it's a go. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot make any of this yet because I don't have a bunch of gold and steel lying around. So we'll have to save that for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching another exciting adventure in Gangzi in Eco. I will see you guys next time. Shout out to Kill Servers.